last night's ceremony was pretty wild. Uh, this is where it went down. And uh, <clears throat> I got a ton of insight, which I never really get that from uh, from ceremony right away. I get that usually the next day. And I got a, a, a ton of stuff from during the ceremony. And one of the things I got from ceremony was <clears throat> that what you see happening to the people, like so if you've ever looked at an ayahuasca ceremony documentaries or if you've ever been in one, um, what happens is, is there's people like rolling around, purging. Some people are laughing, some people are crying, some people are crying, some people are smiling, some people are That's only what you see on the surface. So an ayahuasca ceremony is like inner healing. So what you see happening on the outside, um, the physical aspect of what's going on, where it just looks like this is, this. how could this possibly be, you know, healing? Everybody looks like they're just kind of throwing up and rolling around crying and screaming for the most part. And that's only what you see on the surface. What's really happening is <laughs> these people are, are, the medicine is helping them to fight their demons and their, you know, entities, anxiety, depression, fear, you know, suicide, addiction, you know, PTSD, some serious stuff is going on inside and it's healing. So it was just an insight into what you see happening on the surface is only the physical aspect of what's really happening. Like that's not all that's going on. So, and another thing I got was like, Hey, kind of reminded uh she reminded me that like there's a mission and that mission for me is to try and uh in like an energetic state in a different dimension or realm or whatever you want to call it the unseen is to in a sense go into battle uh and do your best to push back the dark for those who don't know that they can or those who choose not to, or like mostly for the kids, that they have no idea what they're up against. And they're faced with these huge problems uh, that they haven't even hit yet. Like, they, like they're just, they're, you know what I'm talking about. So that was what I got out of last night's ceremony. I didn't purge. Uh, there was no uncomfortable, I drank, I had two cups. So I had two servings of the medicine and there was no uncomfortable feeling. There was no, there was just some serious fire. Like, so the more I've worked with the medicine and for me working with the medicine is, uh, like body movement, shaking. And the more I shook, the more it felt like I could break through the veil of like this reality and the non-physical. So breaking through that veil kind of accessed a different, uh, state of healing for me. And I felt like I was able to feel like, and it was through obedience. It wasn't through like, like, so I didn't mean like for me working with the medicine means shaking for me, working with the medicine is being obedient to what I hear being said. So if I hear like, you know, move around a little bit, move around a little bit, shake, shake, go, you know, harder or slower or sit, breathe, you know, don't breathe, just relax. The more obedient I am to hearing the medicine, the more the medicine works for me. And when I'm super obedient to the point of like, well, this just, just seems fucking ridiculous. That's when it breaks through. And I feel like there's healing not only for me, but for, you know, for others, whether it's the environment or the people or whatever. And it was just a really, it was a really, really intense and awesome ceremony. I have been looking forward to that. She asked me early on in the ceremony, the medicine asked like, hey, you want to take it easy or what do you want to do? Like, Come on. I came here to get down. You already know. Let's do this. Ah! And it was all of that and then more. So it was an awesome ceremony. As usual, 